Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiza Alam and in today's session we'll be uh, knowing about the bank reconciliation process. First we'll have a general know-how of the reconciliation process and then we'll see how uh, this reconciliation actually uh, works or how it is done in our NetSuite application. So let's begin. So reconciliation is an accounting process in which uh, two sets of records are compared in order to ensure the accuracy and consistency of the result data. In simple uh, words, I would say that bank reconciliation is the process that the companies are using to make sure that the cash balances that are shown on their books uh, matches uh, with the actual cash they have in their bank account. In, uh, in um, almost all the companies, all the businesses, there are scenarios in which uh, there can be various discrepancies uh, between the uh, uh, bank balances and the company's actual balances and these uh, discrepancies may have a variety of causes that is uh, timing issues in the course of uh, business operations errors and frauds are also there and along with that uh, the size also matters uh, for the uh, for uh, these uh, discrepancies so the cash balances on a company's books almost uh, never matches uh, the bank statement balances at the end of the month so in that case bank reconciliation is used to identify justify and align those mismatches and provide the most accurate picture of the actual cash flows of the business the reconciliation process requires business owners to understand some key accounting concepts that can include uh, NSF that is non-sufficient funds, then checks, deposits and in transit. So these are the various terminologies that are required to be understood by the required accounting authority in order to uh, have the reconciliation process done in, a, in an appropriate manner. There are various uh, methods for doing the reconciliation. It can be done manually using papers. The second method that is used is to do it with the spreadsheet software. And the another method uh, consists of the cloud-based uh, accounting software. So it, with these methods, the reconciliation process uh, can be done. And this account reconciliation is very much beneficial for explaining the discrepancies in account balances or the financial data. So there are various uh, steps, but before that, we'll know uh, how the NetSuite uh, bank reconciliation uh, is helpful and it has made the business process easy. So for the companies with high transaction volumes, multiple bank accounts or multiple currencies, uh, bank reconciliation can be a time consuming process, but NetSuite has automated this process uh, by importing bank data. Uh, it has saved the time and improved the accuracy of the records uh, that helps in the proper uh, knowledge of the cash inflows and cash outflows. So in the NetSuite application, there are uh, certain steps that are required uh, for carrying out the reconciliation. The first step consists of importing bank data. Firstly, we have to import the bank data that is there. Then we have to match that uh, bank data when the matching is done uh, in, a, in a proper manner. So at last we will be reconciling the account statement. So these three are the steps that are uh, involved in the NetSuite bank reconciliation. So moving on to the NetSuite application in order to work on the uh, uh, reconciliation process, uh, we have to uh, get into transaction. We'll navigate to bank. Then we'll navigate to, uh, as a first step, requires the import and the upload of bank history or bank, bank, import, uh, bank data. So we'll go into banking import history and click on upload file. So here, firstly, we have to import the file. Either we can choose a file or drag and drop it. So I'm going to choose a file here. I have uh, already uploaded this template here. So for the purpose of import, we are having two options. Either we can select a financial institution for this purpose or we can make a default. Uh, sorry, we can do the import with the help of default parser. So I am selecting this option. But uh, when we select this option, so our file format should be a CSV and uh, we should have all these formats followed. Here you can see that we are also having the option of downloading the CSV template that I have down downloaded so that we can have the required headers for it. So as I have selected the default uh, parser option, now we have to select the account for which account do we uh, want to upload this file. So these are the various bank accounts. We have to select the one.
now i will uh, click on import so here towards my right you can see that uh, we are having the option in which we can track our status of our upload this is the banking import history you can see that uh, i got the status that my import has been done it has been completed successfully if i uh, click on it you can see that i got the confirmation that my import has been done successfully so we are done with the first step now uh, the second step towards it uh, we have to match the uh, data uh, of that file or or sorry of that bank data that we have imported so for that we'll go into transaction over to bank and hover down to match bank data so this is the match uh, bank, bank data page here we have to select the account so i will be taking that one for which i have imported or uploaded the file that is for this account so you can see that uh, as we have to match so towards my right i am having all the accounts transaction that is there into the netsuite application and uh, that is the transaction is for deposits that is for the customer harvard michael and uh, 20000 amount is there and towards my uh, left uh, i am having all the details of the data uh, sorry of the bank data that i have imported i am having the depos deposits just mentioned earlier that we should be familiar for the purpose of reconciliation we should be familiar with these terms like deposit checks and transits so here we are dealing with the deposits and checks only so what happens here we have to match it because uh, uh, in the for the net suite transaction we are having only one transaction that is for 20000 so I am taking this one and I am matching it with so you can see now the difference has come to zero now we can uh, click on the match one option after matching it uh, sorry uh, I also have to we can also add journal entries we can also add charges or deposits to it if we want to and if we want to exclude any of the transaction that is there uh, into the bank import history so if I check this uh, 20th October transaction and I will click on exclude so you can see that now that transaction has been excluded from here and if we go into the excluded tab here so it has found its way here if we want to restore it so we can simply uh, check this box and restore it and we'll go back to the to be matched tab here you can see that now it has uh, again come here as we have restored it so in this way we can if we want to exclude it or if we want to uh, restore it so we can do it based on the requirement we will review it like what uh, are we matching we have met we have taken this 20,000 in order to uh, remove that dis difference so we'll go back to be matched now we'll click on submit you can see here that the transaction is being processed here all right now we'll go uh, into the another step we are done with the uh, initial two ones that is uh, we have uh, uploaded the bank data and we have also matched it so after it we will go into the reconcile account statement that is the last step in the reconciliation process in netsuite application so you can see that account has already been selected here that is 3097200 bank mx uh, we have to change the statement and date i can take tomorrow's date here you can see we have to as we have to figure out or uh, reconcile this balance so we have to uh, mention the amount here that is and uh, after this uh, now this option reconcile is open to us you can see that for the difference we are not having any amount in it and we have reconciled this amount the last reconciled balance is this and we have provided the ending statement balance that is the, that is the uh, 31670 now for the difference we are not having any amount we will be reconciling we will click ok so here you can see that for 30th october uh, 2022 we are having this reconciliation done that is for 31670 so we are done with the reconciliation uh, we have gone through all the step and we have reconciled that statement uh, for that particular bank uh, that is 3097 we have also provided the date 
so in this manner we can uh, reconcile uh, the required uh, statements in our netsuite application so that's all about the topic in case of any doubts and consultations you can reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you